It's interesting what you were saying about directness, because I think many people have this image of Americans of being very kind of straight talking, uh, say it how it is, shoot from the hip. Um, but it sounds like, and, and I think this is my experience as well, that um, people are actually quite a lot less direct than you expect them to be, or even people think they are in the US. No, you know, it's, it's interesting because um, when I first came to the States, and I came to the States, and I actually was lucky enough that I already had a, giant, a job li lined up. And then that first job, I don't know how many times somebody told me, oh my God, you're coming across so harsh, so rude. And I was like, I was taken aback so much because that's the last thing I wanted to do. I didn't want to offend anybody. I didn't want to be rude. But that was the perception. And perception is reality. So mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was for me to learn that there's other ways of communicating. And the, and the biggest issue for me was not necessarily, I, I could work on my, my communication, but the issue was for me that people were trying to tell me something and I could not figure out what they were telling me. I could not read between the lines. So I was missing key communication. And then people said, well, I told you that. And I'm sorry, I did not get it. And I still, to this day, sometimes have a hard time really getting the message that people are trying to send to me. So when I am in professional relationships, I always disclose that and say, hey, if you're trying to tell me something, just say it right straight out. The way it comes out, it does not offend me, but that's the surefire way that I will get it. Otherwise, I can't, I can't, I can't guarantee that I will get what you're trying to tell me. So, like, don't wrap it in cotton wool. Yeah. Just get it to me straight. Yes, absolutely. 